Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial with Miriam Marks. Today we are going to be painting a bunny rabbit just in time for spring. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going fast over this part because I started out the painting wanting to do the bunny's ears across my face in this direction. And as you see, it'll just not work very well. So disregard the ears, but everything else, just start filling in the shape of your bunny's face with the white paint. And I'm just kind of mapping out where I'm going to place everything on this cute little bunny's face. And just filling in the area all around. It's okay if it's a little choppy at this point. Now I'm going to remove the ears as I realize it doesn't look very well. And pro tip, you can just get a wet paper towel, wet q-tip, even a wet wipe to remove any of the paint during this process and start over. Now I'm just adding in more white paint, a second layer. It just makes it more vibrant and less transparent. I decided to give my little bunny a full body, kind of like a little bobblehead. So here I'm just mapping out where his arms and legs will go. Quick check to see if it's looking good. And it is. And then I'm going to fill in his cute little bunny tail. Okay, moving on to plan B for the ears. I'm just kind of bringing them up. Right now they look like cat ears and I'll adjust them later when I place the ears on my hat. And here's where you'll want to decide to put his eyes and his nose. And I'm just filling in a little bit more of that white paint. Again, when you're creating your bunny, you can use any colors. I decided to give him a cute little pink button nose and I decided to make it nice and round. Looking good. It's actually important to keep making faces as you paint because it'll help you know if you are on the right track with the structure of the face. And it's quite fun. Now I'm just giving him some depth with some color and shadowing and I'm using it with a soft pink to kind of blend together with his cute little nose. Moving on to my favorite part. As you guys know, from my other tutorials, the outlining is what really brings these characters to life. And it also just kind of pulls everything together. So take your time on this part and have fun with it. It is important to use a small thin brush as your lines will be a lot more crisp and they won't bleed into each other. So just remember to follow along. And if you make a mistake, just Use a Q-tip or a wet wipe and come back when that's dry later. Enjoy this music while the outlining continues. Also, the t-shirt in the background, yes, that one right there, <laughs> they will be available soon. I'm working on getting some more t-shirts set up for you guys so you can choose the different characters you love and have them placed on different material. And now I'm just moving on to some fun facial features. It's really difficult when it gets kind of by the nose so don't stress it too much just fill in a really dark line and it'll all blend together and this is the creative part you can just create the eyes however you feel I always like to make them really big and round so they're more expressive when I'm making the faces or making them dance so it's really what you decide and I forgot to put an eyebrow on the other guy so while I was doing this tutorial it reminded me
once you finish with all your outlining, you get to do any finishing touches you feel kind of accent the character. I did some cute little eyelashes, a nose shine, concentrating very hard, and just a little bit more shine around the edges to make them pop. Okay, now moving on to the ears. This is probably one of the trickiest parts and I haven't shown any of this in my tutorials before but I thought this would be appropriate as I've had a lot of questions on how did you do the ears. So I line up the hat with the top of the bunny rabbit's head and then I just slowly cut a piece of paper focusing on one ear at a time as I figure out which size and direction I want to make the bunny's ears. And it looks like I've found a winner. Once you have the first ear decided on, you just take that piece of paper and you trace it on another one to make a second ear. Now to color match it to the painting, I just take my paint and put it on the paper. As you can see here, I'm painting the ears and you're gonna notice real quickly that I made a rookie, rookie mistake. So far, everything's looking good right here. I'm not aware of the mistake I have made that you guys will soon realize as well. And I get the tape ready to place it on my hat and <laughs> they are backwards. Very frustrating. It was in this moment that I decided to power through and realize I could still use the same pieces. I just needed to flip them over and paint the other side. And then you just place them on your hat, lining them up with the painting, and you can fiddle around with it a little bit, but it's pretty simple once it's on there. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching my tutorials as I just evolve them a little bit more each time. And I hope this inspires you to create some fun crafts with your friends and family this Easter as you create your own characters. Feel free to tag me or share them with me. Send me an email with what you created. I would love to see them. And as always, have fun, stay safe, and never stop creating. See you on the other side.